Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. We're gonna take a walk around an Iron Bull DDG. This is a gooseneck deck over dump. Does have the triple axle option. Other than the triple axle 21,000 GVW, this is a stock trailer. So everything we're gonna look at, it's all standard equipment on this. It is black in color. You know, like this is gonna weigh in about 5,300, roughly empty. It's gonna give you a net legal payload in the 15s. You're also gonna pick up uh, tongue weight via the gooseneck. Traditionally, goosenecks throw off about 20% or better tongue weight. It's going to pick up uh, quite a bit of pounds there as well. So let's take a look at all the standard features on this. So this does have a 2 and 5 16th inch gooseneck ball coupler. It is adjustable. It's in the uppermost setting right now, but it does have uh, four holes roughly on about a 4 inch center a piece. Also, uh, two neck bolts. Uh, if you're not familiar with the gooseneck, generally you want to give those about 35, 40 pound uh, Torx so that your neck doesn't get uh, oblong. It's got a breakaway cable standard equipment. Of course, your safety chains got hook on those. Also got the round neck on these. They're rated to uh, 25,000 pounds. You can swap that out with a fifth wheel if desired. Safety reflector tape on the neck. Also has pinstriping. You got your Iron Bull logo. Also has the uh, the Iron Bull in the neck gussets. Kind of neat little detail. This does have uh, I-beam neck and uprights. Uh, one nice thing about the I-beam neck and uprights are you get a full toolbox. So it's, it's a deep toolbox. Also, this one's a pretty tall box. This has the 110 volt charger built in, standard equipment. It's got the Iron Bull logo on it. Also, so this has a full lockable box. Uh, also has gas shocks on it. Sounds like a little detail, but uh, certainly does make it nice. We've seen some that don't wear the, the lid will flop open and get busted up. Um, just makes it nice. Also, grease zerts on the hinges. So, of your box, uh, about half of it's battery and pump. The other half is open. So, this has a interstate deep cycle marine battery. It's a group 24. It's got an inline circuit breaker. It's got a KTI hydraulic pump. Uh, it is power up, power down. I don't know that this is going to be a standard long term, but it looks like right now they're putting on this new manual valve that KTI is pushing. Uh, I don't know if that's a short term promo or if it's going to be uh, um, long term, but basically that guy just goes clockwise, counterclockwise. I can come back to that and show you a little bit about what that does in a minute. Other half of the box is open. I'll show you here. Uh, got an integrated voltmeter. We'll talk more about that in a second as well is power up power down in the neck has a spot for a spare tire mount also has a tarp kit uh it has a sail bar which is nice not all your tarp kits have that basically it makes it real simple you pull it back with one hand keeps it nice straight also got ball bearings for serviceability and has a spring-loaded uh, handle mechanism going back to the trailer it's got fold down sides as is pretty customary on most of your deck over dumps uh, sides on these are 18 inches. Uh, one thing that is a little bit different, some of them, in fact, quite a few of them don't put stake pockets on them. Uh, with this, you could pull the sides off and you could build sides up if you want. Uh, no manufacturer really is gonna encourage you to leverage off the existing side. So if you did wanna build a stake side, you'd have to pull them off, use the stake pockets for it. There are grease zerts on all the hinges. Spring assembly on each side, simply pull those let the side come down also has some built-in tie downs this has the uh led lights rubber grommeted 16 foot in length it says triple dexter 7,000 pound axles you kind of tell these are dexters now because they're doing a little bit different cap used to be a, uh, a little bit different shape than these uh, iron Bull also uses 9 16 studs generally acquired half inch but they go a little bit heavier on the studs slipper spring suspension a little bit heavier duty 23580 r16 it's a load range e 10 ply radial tire standard currently it's a goodyear tire it's on a black mod wheel eight on six and a half lug pattern these all have the newer style easy loop hubs right behind that cap there's a grease zert you can do in your own bearing maintenance fairly simple this also has the newer style forward adjust or some call them self or never adjust brakes just self tensions throughout the life of the pad. Uh, very minimal uh, service required. 
uh, for them. Going back to the rear of the trailer, Iron Bolt has a three-way gate. You'll find some in the industry do a two-way, just a barn door, a spreader. This also will fold down like a pickup truck uh, style. So you simply uh, set your spreader chain where you want, and then you would uh, pull your top pin, let it come down. If you want to spread, same thing, set your chain, pull your handle, and you can spread. And then if you barn door, it's a very simple uh, design. Just got a catch mechanism with your D-ring. So all three sides available, or all three functions, I should say, available in this. So you have an extra set of stop turn tails. You're only required to have one and then your three center markers. This actually has an extra stop turn tail each side and then also has an extra marker light per side. Uh, one thing we like about the Iron Bowl, it's got a very heavy duty gate. Normally you get about an inch and a half, sometimes a two inch rear gate. Uh, this actually is a two and a half and then it's got this integrated keyway. It's very, very strong the way it's built. Also the integrated keyway in the long sills as well. That's what makes that long panel uh, able to stay strong um, whenever, you, whenever you lay it down. Also has a cam bar lock. Sometimes you see just a pin at the bottom. This actually uh, goes to full height. Uh, another thing we like about Iron Bull on the ramps, uh, they are undermount as are pretty much most everybody in the industry, especially on a deck over, not an option for a side mount. But these are a little bit wider and also they're tapered down. And of course we said they are a rear slide in. These are a hook style ramp. So basically you just hook the end of the ramp on and go. Grease zerts on the hinges on the sides. Let me put the bed up on this. We'll show you the hoist, whatnot. Also, I want to point out this has a six inch tube bed frame. Some in the industry go a little lighter. I've seen three, I've seen four. A lot of times on deck overs, they're going to go a little bit heavier, uh, but this is a six inch tube. Also, I want to point out um, Iron Bowl uses 10 gauge sides and floor. Some in the industry uh, lighten up a little bit in the sides, go to 10, or I'm sorry, go to 11 or 12 gauge. Right now, this is putting out about 10.6. You would know over time at what point you would need to charge it. If the battery went dead and you were at say 9.8 um, volts, then you'd know that you need to charge it. You are gonna get some trickle through your seven pin uh, plug, your accessory line. That's about a 3.7 amp hour charge. So it's a fairly slow uh, charge through that line set. Uh, you'd want to supplement that with the one 10 volt charger. Generally, you're going to get about a 20 foot uh, remote cord on these. They're designed so that you can go up to your truck and dump from the truck on a cold day or whatnot. It says a scissor hoist lift. That's pretty common on most of these. Uh, normally, when you go to a triaxle, you're going to get a little bit longer stroke as is on this one. So this is a 520 hoist. 10 inch I-beam frame. A couple differences you'll notice. This uh, scissor is actually made from tube, not channel or angle. Doesn't twist, got a little bit more rigidity. Also, one thing that's different, most of your deck covers in the industry don't have what we call bed runners or bed rails. Uh, this one's actually got um, bed rails on either side of the scissor. It's important because it ties the scissor to the frame, just keeps everything nice and straight. Uh, also, these are structural channel bed cross members. Some use formed. Uh, this is structural channel. Again, undermount ramps are standard equipment. Dexter brand axles has the newer style, never adjust brakes. Also, you see some protection for the scissor hoist there. Also, you've got your prop for your hydraulics and then your hydraulic hoses are contained in the beam. Nice design. Also, 
uh, you've got your gusset on the back side of the neck in addition to the front side of the neck. Iron Bull is also now using a powder primer in addition to powder coat. And they're also covered by Iron Bull's 232 warranty. They cover the uh, trailer for two years, structure for three years, and then they have a two-year roadside assist program. It's kind of unique. unique. It covers the truck and trailer for a handful of different items, including hydraulic uh, fluid, vehicle uh, fluid, uh, fuel, whatnot, lockouts, etc. Pretty neat program. It's called the 232. It's on Iron Bull's website. Yeah, and this is a triple axle 16 foot. It's available in some different configurations. We also stock these in the seven foot wide fendered low pro, as opposed to the eight foot wide deck over. You notice, of course, the uh, wheels are underneath the trailer, hence the name deck over. If you have any questions on this, feel free to give us a ring, 717-220-4220, or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.